One day, I shall come back. Yes, I shall come back. He's taken his time, but finally, he is back. Stay with us as UK Gold goes behind the scenes of the new Doctor Who movie and finds out more about the Doctor's battle with the Master. The reason why we chose the Master is because the mythology of Doctor Who is very rich and can be very confusing if you don't know the show. So to make the Doctor's adversary a monster seemed to disconnect it to an American audience. So to, to ground it in something that was relatable um, and that would broaden the audience, that was the human element. And the master in mythology um, possibly was his brother. So if you suggest that, which we are sort of suggesting, there's a lovely Cain and Abel element to it that makes it very relatable. Uh, and Eric is magnificent, and uh, so we're, we're fortunate to have him, but we're also fortunate to, to have chosen uh, a character that, that obviously is human. So you get that wonderful interaction. If it was a monster behind a mask, I think we would have had a very different movie. Uh, that was really the reason why we did it. Before, before there was Star Trek, there was Doctor Who. And um, when I eventually ended up in this business, um, and I saw what was happening to the show because after 26 years, writers had burned out, uh, no one cared anymore, and this character got written into the ground. And I thought, I want to bring back some of that magic. The regeneration scene um, is, it has an interesting rich history. I mean, when William Hartnell did the role way back in the 60s, he was 73 years old. He did it for three years and it was a very successful show. And when he decided not to continue, the writers came up with this wonderful idea of we'll regenerate him into a new character. Actor, well, it actually worked and it became part of the mythos of the show. And for me, um, to not have Sylvester regenerate into Paul would have broke that link that ties this show to the old show. And to me, that was very important in terms of the mythology. It wouldn't have been so important if there had been a year of Doctor Who, but 30 years, 126 novels, six or seven coffee table books and over 700 episodes, it deserves the link. It became important. Um, and, and that's why it was done and he was very gracious enough to, uh, to say he would do it. I'd love to be reaching a bigger audience than just a, a science fiction audience. I think, that's, that I know science fiction is very, very popular uh, all over the world, but, but there are certain people who won't watch it. They, they say, oh, it's science fiction, I'm, I, I, I'm not into that. And I think that, that if we can do something that, that really is an adventure and, it, and, a, and a very good story in its own right, that is fast and, 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 and has laughs, I think that, that we might attract, a, I hope, a bigger audience who will then buy into the whole thing. The, the modern audiences, especially, you know, bearing in mind that some, a lot of people, the majority of people are going to be watching this, are going to be seeing it for the first time, um, the, the, the uh, American audience particularly. And uh, I think that um, uh, you, you, people expect now a certain production standard and certain production values. And uh, I think that if we'd have gone along the, the, the original Doctor Who route, it would have appeared to be dated now. And, uh, you know, part of the charm of it was that they had to work very hard on the scripts and they were very very good and when I was offered this I was worried well initially before I read it that it was just going to be all, all action and it was going to be taking Doctor Who into an area that I wouldn't be interested in, in in making but the script I think is so good and so strong it's such a good story uh, and, and I think that, that the effects just add to it it just the whole thing becomes quite magical I think this was the last Doctor Who back in 1989 with Sylvester McCoy and Sophie Aldred as the Doctor and his companion Ace. No one knew when or if the series would return. There are worlds out there where the sky is burning, where the seas sleep and the rivers dream. People made of smoke and cities made of song. Some of there's danger, some of there's injustice, and somewhere else the tea's getting cold. Come on, Ace, we've got work to do. The intent is for this uh, to spring forth a series. Um, uh, I feel very blessed that we've had a chance to bring it back. So um, if there's any opportunity to go forward after this, to me it's icing on the cake. I think ultimately it depends on, on a lot of things. It's going to depend on need for the network and it's also going to depend on how well it does when it airs. And I think if those things uh, uh, sort of hit together, 
um, then there's a real opportunity for it to come back. And, and, I, and I hope it does. I mean, uh, I, I think the American audience will embrace him. He's a wonderful character. And while Paul McGann takes the Doctor onward to new adventures, you can relive the classic series here on UK Gold every Sunday morning in the Vortex.